Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward. You know this guy, Jake. And this is your weekly update. If you would share this on all of your platforms, that would be awesome. Uh, I want to mention a few things that are coming up. Uh, not this Sunday, but the next Sunday is the 25th of April, Jake. And we are going to be celebrating baptism on that Sunday. It's also going to be our first Sunday of our new service time at 10 o'clock a.m. So a couple things. One is get the word out about the 10 o'clock a.m. service. And two, if you've been thinking about baptism or maybe you have someone in your family that's been thinking about baptism and maybe has questions about it, we would love to answer those questions uh, and maybe get you scheduled to be baptized as well on the 25th. And so um, get the word out, share that. Um, I think it's going to be a, it's going to be an exciting Sunday, Jake, for sure. So and if people are getting baptized, it's going to be exciting. Yeah, yeah, that's just exciting. So you know, with uh, one of the things we were met, met as elders last night, and uh, somebody shared with us that they had visited our church um, two years ago, about about two year and a half ago, something like that. No, and, it was over spring break. Well, no, 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 the first time. Oh yeah, church, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. It's been it's then, been about a year and a half. Two and years. then they had visited again um, just this last month, uh, last month of March, and they were talking about the difference of what summit was a year and a half ago and what summit is today. And um, we were talking as elders last night, what it means to be a healthy church, because that comment came up and they were talking about two years ago when they visited, people were warm and greeted them and all that. And then they were here last month and everybody was standoffish and nobody talked to them. And a lot of that I think has to do with social distancing, Jake. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been so conditioned over the last year to, to not approach people and not go to people. And so here's what I want to encourage you to do. When we start at one service, again, we're going to be having, this is this is cool, we're going to have tables set up in the back foyer and the front foyer where people come in. And if you're a person that still wants to social distance and kind of keep people uh, at a distance from you or no one will approach you or that kind of deal because you're still kind of... Uh, What's the word? So uh, you're just social distancing. Yeah. So we're gonna have stickers, a little red sticker that you can just you can put right here on your shoulder on e either side, so that when people see that, they'll know not to approach, hug, and you know, high five like you and I do all the time. Yeah. If uh, you're not if you're not gonna put one of those stickers on, I'm bear hugging you. Yeah. Amen. I'm just, it's fair warning. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. and uh, that's why I'm going to wear one when I'm around him. But anyway, uh, also we're going to have some cards uh, that you can pick up on that table as well. Go into the auditorium, place it on each side of you so that it'll let people know that, hey, you want to social distance. We want to honor you. We want you to feel safe at Summit Heights. But Summit, here's what, here's what I want to say to you, is I also want us to be healthy and welcoming. Uh, and so that means to look around and greet people. If they don't have a sticker on, they don't have that deal by there, you can high five those people that do or just wave at them, let them know. But other folks, I want you to go up and love on them. Be that church, a warm church, a welcoming church, because that's important uh, that we welcome people. And this is a safe place for them to come and check out the claims of Christ. Also, uh, you want to talk about uh, that whole re up uh, deal that we're doing? Man, listen, we're a team at Summit Heights Fellowship. Me and Edward are just part of the team. Yeah. I mean, we're a different part of the team, but we're a part of the team. And I love being a part of a team, Edward. I just teams are important. I, you know, I played sports. I coach sports. I think everybody wants to be a part of a team. I think that's why players, when their careers are over, they go into coaching yeah. because they, they don't want to leave the team. They it's still want to be a part of the team. Yeah. It's why coaches, when they retire, they go into the studio and broadcasting because they want to be a part of the team. It's probably why you signed up for ballet. I mean, you want to be a part of that ballet team, and I get that, man. Teams are, are important. So we need you on our teams, youth ministry teams, children's ministry teams, first impressions teams, worship teams teams, media teams, we need you. We, I'm just going to be blunt honest. Uh, we're low on our volunteers in some of these areas right now. Yeah. And if we're going to pull off the one service and we're going to pull off everybody coming back and worshiping, we need you to volunteer. Now, I'm not talking to volunteers that are already on team serving because what we don't want is we don't want people one person serving in five different right, areas. Right. Okay, if you're if you're already serving in kid venture, stay in kid venture. If you're already serving in youth, you found your niche. But for a lot of us, we haven't found that place to serve. And I want to read something to you. Uh, we preach this a lot at Summit Heights in Ephesians 4:11. Paul writes, he yeah. says, and he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds, and the teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry so that the body of Christ may be built up. Yeah. 
And that's part of what I do at Summit Heights. It's part of what Edward does. It's part of what our elder board does is we want to take you and we want to equip you so that you can minister the gospel and you can serve in these different areas. And so this Sunday, take one of those I'm in cards. Everybody take one. If you're going to be watching online, click the form. You don't have to fill it out. Just start praying over it. And start praying over but where you can you get. Fill it out. Oh, we do want. We yeah. do want you to fill it out. At some but point. I think yeah. a lot, a lot of people, they're still thinking. Take the card and pray over it, and begin to look and pray over the specific areas because you have a gift. Mm -hmm. You may not even know what that gift is, but you have it, and it's needed in the body of Christ. But I think too, we used to teach this in youth ministry. If you don't know what your gift is and you don't know where to serve, go experiment. You know, go try first impressions for. Yeah. Two or three Sundays and then try this and, and some of these require background checks that kind of stuff working with children and youth that but there's a lot of things you can do just to go man I don't really know where I want to but I can experiment in that and take a look at that so that could be uh, dangerous though telling students to start experimenting I'd be careful how you word that well you understand what I'm saying well I, I do that. I appreciate <laughs> you know, that so you know uh, no doubt. Uh, that's also part of being a healthy church, too. And I think that's where we are laser focused on uh, what we're going to be doing over these next few months. And this next year is uh, we're halfway through the year almost. I mean, it's the first quarter is gone. We're in the second quarter. Uh, there's a lot happening. But listen, there there's still the mission that God has called us to. And uh, I want to encourage you to get that. Are we going to have that link in, in this video too somewhere or maybe in the comments that they can go get that all-in card even today? Uh, I can work on that. Okay, let's, 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 let's see if we can get that on there. And mm -hmm. that way you can click on that right now when this video comes up. It'll be in the comments uh, under Facebook and YouTube. Is that right? And uh, that way you can go ahead and click on that and be praying about it right now. So. Uh, got anything else today, bro? No, nope. it's ballet going all right, Ballet's though. Ballet's wonderful, man. Wonderful. I can stand Proud on of one you. toe. Uh, Proud stand of you, on one man. Toe. So, uh, uh, hey, Herschel Walker, by the way. Oh, I'm, to, to I'm not making fun of so, ballet. I, uh, man, I, I can feel that condensation I, voice. No, 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 no. That, no. Uh, yeah, anyway. Hey, Summit, we love you. Cannot wait to see you Sunday. Lots of exciting things. I'm sure. I, I cannot wait. I'm loving what God's doing right now. Um, just... Man, I'm excited. It's, I can it's tell. Cool. It's cool stuff. You've touched, uh, you've like hit me in the shoulder like 10 times during this video. You don't have a red sticker on, so uh, something about bear hugging. Ah, uh, uh, so. yeah. <laughs> we love you, Summit. We'll see you Sunday.